the area it covers is vast enough to hold St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome, <coughs> the cathedrals of Florence and Milan, Westminster Abbey and St. Paul's. Three million blocks of stone, some of them weighing 30 tons, were assembled by Cheops' faithful workmen to achieve this fabulous construction. At the center of it, the pharaoh planned his inner chamber, where his mummy was to lie in splendor for it. Monuments. It is the pyramids which have always appealed most vividly to man's imagination. Considered from its top downwards, a pyramid is like the sun's rays bursting through a gap in the clouds. It commemorates the greatest victory of all, victory over death. It is the most perfect mansion, the strongest tent, whose great stone sides are both roof and wall, and so carefully sealed that the dream entrusted to it can live to the end of the world. Of immortality. To achieve this, embalmers prepared the body for two. Adon, who is in heaven, and he discards the name of Amenhetep the Fourth to adopt another, Achenaton, Ata the Unique. surrounding the royal wives fall. The veils are drawn back, and in centuries to come, people will see and love the graceful figure of Nefertiti. She was by his side in his struggle to establish the new faith. Of this faith, she was like a reflection. Her radiance inspired sculptors. Thus, the image of her beauty came to us in stone. Thirty years old, and he died. Three thousand three hundred years ago, he wrote and recited this prayer. Your dawn, O living Aton, takes my breath. You possess my heart. You are the maker and giver of all things, and men live by your grace. Aton, living and life-giving forever and ever. Their love lasted but a season the time of a bloom called Nefertiti. Yet there is sadness still in the hearts of men. His successor's name was to have been Tutankhamen. He chose to be known as Tutankhamen after the old god of tradition. Frail and tender, Tutankhamen died not yet twenty after a reign of six years. But three thousand years have not yet withered his fine youthful face nor tarnished the treasures gathered round him in his unfinished tomb of the Valley of the Kings. Today, the world marvels at them. <laughs>